This is Jonathan with Gutter Guards Direct. Today I'm going to show you how to pick the right gutter guard for your own home. So stay tuned and I'll show you what to do. People often ask how to pick the right gutter guard for their home. So I generally can tell as soon as I show up to a house. I've been doing this for a long, long time. I've seen pretty much every configuration there is to see. I've seen all the different trees that folks have in their yards. And uh, as I'm pulling up the driveway, I can often predict what the best solution would be for uh, their home. Uh, in this particular case, what you see is a lot of pine trees around the house. And you've got a combination, you've got a, um, mostly these white pines with these, these long, skinny, you know, three to four inch pine needles. Uh, those are really some of the most problematic types of debris you can get off uh, a tree. Uh, next up would be a, some sort of a short pine needle. And you've got uh, maybe, there's, a, there's another one there. I don't know if it's a cedar or some sort of conifer tree, uh, just kind of over, over here. But the problem children in this case are the long pine needles. And so what that immediately does is it puts you into a micro mesh gutter guard. And believe it or not, not all gutter guards are made the same and not all micro mesh gutter guards are made the same. So once you determine that you need a micro mesh, the question is how fine does the screen need to be? And this is the challenge with the long skinny pine needles that come off of white pine trees. Because they are so skinny and they come down like this. So here are, here's some actual kind of different pine needles. So we got some skinny, skinny skinny ones let me see if i can find some that are alive maybe here you go so here here's a good example you got these super skinny pine needles they come down in, in like clumps of three or four they've got this little spline in the middle that holds them together and then as it decays as it turns brown you see that things start to separate and they break off and eventually, well, this pine needle, because it's green, it's still pliable, and if I bend it, it's not gonna necessarily break, right? So it stays intact. Once it goes brown, then it will easily break. And, uh, but that skinny pine needle can fit through a lot of gutter guards. So if you look at the different types of gutter guards, we've determined in this particular case that a micro mesh is the right way to go but let's let's just kind of talk about the different gutter guards out there so you have perforated aluminum panels you have solid gutter covers so a, a solid metal type with a reverse curve so it's got a nose that kind of curls around at the front and the water goes inside that front slot and then you've got micro mesh and and that's the predominant system you also have like chicken wire expanded metal type screens uh, so you have to look at this as a practical matter and make a determination which of those would work best. Here's this I don't know, conifer type tree. So it has a little pine cone. The needles are a lot shorter. You can see here. So you've got a shorter needle and you've got those pine cones on there. And then those just separate and, and fall to the ground like you see here. On the long pine needles, I showed you some of the pine needles there, but you also run into this situation where you've got the actual kind of the twig from the pine needle that contains all the needles. And those things also tend to fall off. And these things will separate from the tree 365 days a year. You can see a lot of the brown ones here in the, in the mulch bed. So here's some off that conifer type tree so they brown up and fall off so in a way they're kind of like a deciduous tree and then you've got the long skinny pine needles that also come off but these will break so you can see just bending it once it turns brown it breaks and and the trick with these things is trying to keep them out of your gutter as much as possible here's some pine cones not such a big deal now we have some just traditional larger trees and because we don't see the leaves out at this point hard to say what all the trees are uh probably some oaks and 
possibly some maples, not 100% sure there, but the trees are more at the back. I would argue that the wind is probably blowing more from this direction and from this direction, so kind of a north, northwest. You can see how the trees are blowing right now, so that kind of bolsters my claim. But the wind is maybe swirling around a little bit here. Uh, but this, this house is buried in pine trees and the long needle pines. So that's your worst case scenario. That's the tree by which you have to make a determination what the right gutter guard is for the property. And uh, as I said earlier, a micro mesh is the right way to go. However, micro meshes have a variety of screen densities and the screen densities dictate how well that's going to work. So just because somebody says, I have a micro mesh gutter guard to sell you, doesn't mean that it's going to work properly. So in my opinion, you are limited, uh, vastly limited, by what you can get in terms of a micro mesh gutter guard for the property. And in this particular case, this, the system that we offer is called Master Shield. Um, leaf filter would be another option. They also have a pretty fine screen. Gutter Glove Pro has a fine screen uh, available. And it's possible that Valor has a fine screen available but I have never seen it in the wild. Uh, so there are probably three or four gutter guards. I think Leaf Solution may be another one, has a fine screen. So there are several micro mesh gutter guards on the market, but you need a gutter guard for with a fine screen. Here you can see, maybe, let me zoom in. And right at the edge of the gutter is a chicken wire type system. So chicken wire with a pine tree above it is a why bother situation because this is what you're getting off the pine trees. You're getting the actual stems, you're getting the needles that come down and, and break off, you're getting the long skinny pine needles, you're getting the little pine cones, and all that stuff combines to just fall inside the gutter. So at best, a chicken wire, an expanded metal type screen is gonna keep out the big stuff, whereas a micro mesh with a fine screen is gonna keep out the small stuff. So once you've decided that uh, you are interested in the micro mesh based on the fact that you have a ton of pine trees in your yard, you just have to locate the one that has the uh, capability of keeping that stuff out. So I'm gonna grab a few of these pine needles and I will show you the difference in the gutter guards that we have, how picking the right type of screen for the job makes a difference. A lot of these companies just sell gutter guards based on price. They only have one product. That one product has to fit every situation. I've long believed that is really the bad way to sell it. I mean, it might be great for them. It's a bad way as a consumer to buy a product. You want to have the choice of picking different systems. So I am going to grab a couple of samples here to look at. This is my display box. Uh, so I have a six inch gutter, little roof sample here, and then the gutter guard that uh, we, we show folks. So we'll typically show four or five different gutter guard systems. Again, we use the criteria of what kind of trees do you have? What's the proximity of the trees to your house? Again, you can see the proximity of these pine needles to this house. Uh, you can see some you know, deciduous type trees off in the distance and then kind of along the property line there. So you've got several trees that are overhanging the house and then you have trees that are really close to the house. And based on the, how the wind blows and just the proximity of these things to your house really dictates how many times a year you have to clean out the gutters. So the reason I'm at this house is because they're tired of cleaning the gutters. No, no real emergency, but uh, they're just simply tired of dealing with it. So uh, if we look at the gutter guard systems, the first one I have is a perforated aluminum one. This one's called Gutter RX. So it has just a bit of a wavy surface to it and a bunch of holes that are drilled into it. It comes in a six foot panel and it's designed to live within the gutter. So it's gonna screw down on the front lip 
we put it up at a little bit of an angle and we screw it to the fascia board on the back side. This is a great gutter guard, but it's not a great gutter guard for this particular situation. So if those trees were, uh, well, I wouldn't do it with these pine needles, but let's just pretend these pine ne trees either were not here or they're 100 feet away from the house, then possibly this would be something that you could use. Now, I've just taken some pine needles here, some green ones, I'll just kind of drop them. I'll drop some of the brown ones that I found, if I can pick them up here and you know we're just pretending like this stuff's falling out of the sky off the trees coming off the roof and what you're going to find is by and large they're sitting currently uh relatively flat on top of the gutter so it's a situation where you may not get a lot of stuff inside the gutter but because you have the possibility that it could land in there vertically, it could plug in there, you will get pine needles that will pass through. And because those pine needles fall off the tree every day of the year, you will find that more of that stuff can go inside. So that's generally why I would not recommend uh, this. And actually, if you had shorter pine needles, uh, which they have that kind of conifer type tree, uh, with the little pine cones the pine cones aren't going to penetrate through here so this is certainly an option for you but probably not the best option especially if you don't want to have to clean either out the gutter or clean off the top surface of the gutter guard so that's gutter rx x gutter guard is a solid cover so you can see it totally encapsulates the gutter it's a solid piece of metal this one does have some weep holes in it uh, this it's a product that we offer and it's called leaf free solid gutter cover and uh, the way this works is the water just transitions off it'll hit some of these weep holes so it'll catch some slow moving water on the downside that mostly prevents water from wicking back up under the shingles most of the water is going to come down curl around and then it's going to go through these slots across the front so if you think of small debris you know, uh, if, uh, on a windy, dry day like today, you know, that pine cone is probably just gonna blow right off the top. And I suspect there it goes, just like that. That's exactly what you want to happen with a gutter guard. Nice thing about this is it's a smooth surface. It goes up under the first course of shingles, so it has an angle or a slope to it that helps drive the leaves and debris off the top. But the problem with this system is when it gets wet, everything gains weight. So whatever's sitting up on the roof at the time that it's raining can adhere to the water and can kind of plot its way down across the gutter guard. And one of three things happens. It's either going to move, shift right off the top, and it just comes over the top and goes to the ground, which is great. Second thing that can happen is that debris can come down and follow that pathway and actually get inside the gutter. And once it gets inside the gutter, if you got enough of it at once, then it can potentially clog a downspout. Third thing, and probably most likely it happens, is stuff gets stuck in this opening. And once it gets stuck in that opening, and it's generally not one or two pieces that's the issue, it's when you get multiple pieces of it and it just, it just kind of builds up. It's a compounding effect over time. Once that happens, then it can potentially clog this slot across the front, and that can... Uh, cause the water to have to come further over the, the face of the gutter and then drip off the bottom at a faster clip. So it may not be the end of the world, but not such a great thing with pine needles. And if you have oak trees, absolutely do not get this type of system because it will definitely clog. Also, that can be true with maple trees. So maple, oak, pines, tough customers. Locust trees, tough customer for this type of of product. You get into the micro mesh. So the guy Alex Higginbotham that came up with the concept of micro mesh. This is one of the products that he designed. It is. Uh, this used to be called Gutter Love. They recently changed the name to like Micro Max or something relatively stupid. We call it Leaf Lock. That's a name that we own. So we call this product Leaf Lock. And it is a micro mesh. It's not a super micro mesh. So what I was talking about earlier was you want, in this case of the long skinny pine needle, you need a really fine screen to keep all this debris out. So here's an example with this pine needle here that, that came off the tree. If I just drop it, you can see it plugs in that screen. So it is skinny enough that it will fall into that screen. And because it's being held together in the middle right now, 
it'll probably just dangle like that it might it might go deeper inside there it may stay right where it is eventually it's going to brown up and the bottom portion will break off the top portion will break off and it should slide off the top of the gutter surface but this is a situation where unless you want to maintain this system over a period of time by dealing with these pine needles that can pass through odds are you're going to have to deal with it more frequently than you would like therefore a micro mesh screen that's more porous is not a great idea and quite frankly there are a lot of micro mesh gutter guards on the market that have porous screens some are similar weave to this and some are even more porous than this so with the pine tree situation you definitely want to be selective about what you get and if you have somebody that comes to your house and they want to give you a demonstration pull some pine needles out of your yard bring them inside and stick them into the screen and see if they do what this is doing. You could see I just dropped this out of the sky. It's not like I was doing anything intentionally, you know, just dropping it. And that one landed horizontally. So you're gonna get some portion that are horizontal and some portion that are going to fall through, but enough are going to fall through that you might just decide that that's more of a pain than it's worth. For this particular application, we would recommend Master Shield. So this is our kind of Cadillac uh, micro mesh gutter guard. You can see it has a super fine screen. So if you look at this in comparison, you know you can see the openings in the Gutter Love Leaf Lock Micro Max product. But uh, this, it's, it really just looks like a fabric. But it's actually a very fine stainless steel screen. This one has three strips of copper, so you can kind of see that goldish hue to it. So that's copper that's woven into the screen, and that prevents the buildup of algae, lichen, and, and uh, moss on your gutters. But um, here I've taken some pine needles, and if I drop them on there, they're, they're not going to go into the screen. They're just going to sit loosely on top, and then they'll eventually blow away. If I, if I take the pine needles and I actually poke them into the screen, then you'll see they will not be able to get in there. And we could just poke at this all day long. And the little stuff, the big stuff, it just, it just doesn't matter. Uh, let me grab that pine cone that we had that came off before you roll. See how that one just rolls right off? And the reason that rolls off so quickly is because you have, I wanna find that pine cone again. This is angled with the roof line. And so being angled by the roof line, when the, when the stuff hits it, it just comes right off the top. So whether it's raining or it's dry out, odds are most of the stuff is just gonna keep shifting off the top of it. It completely encapsulates the gutter, so there's no way any of this stuff can get into the gutter. And then the fact that you have a super fine screen doesn't allow the pine needles, in this case, to stick in there, to get stuck in there and as a result, they will just blow right off the top of the screen surface. So my recommendation for this particular property will be the Master Shield Micro Mesh Gutter Guard. Yes, it's Micro Mesh. Yes, it has a super fine screen. And yes, it'll do the job. The other thing too, is this house has five inch gutters and they're in pretty terrible shape. So we're gonna make the recommendation that they upgrade to a six inch gutter and um, put a, a gutter guard up here that will match the color of the gutter because we've got different color options. You'll never know it's up there and they'll never have to climb up on the roof again to, uh, to deal with it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons and be sure to ding the bell so you'll be notified the next time we upload a video.